seen this kind of thing. Yes. Welcome to St. Vincent Ferrer Catholic Church. Today we celebrate the fifth Sunday of Lent. The theme for today is Liturgy is as follows. Easter is two weeks from today. In the Easter Vigil, we shall celebrate baptism, which is the death to sin and the rising to the life of God through grace. Through our baptism, we have been buried with Christ and we have risen with him to live two lives. Each day we must consider ourselves as dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Today's mass theme of death and resurrection should recall our baptism. Let us pray for those who are to be baptized. Let us live always in fidelity to our own baptism. Thank you to our parishioners that have mailed, have mailed in your Sunday offering or use online giving. May God continue to bless you abundantly. We have a temporary drop-off slot by the parish office door where you can safely drop off your future donations. Daily Masses will now be streamed live on Facebook at 8 a.m. Monday through Saturday. Two weekend masses will be streamed live on Sunday, 10 a.m. in English and 12 p.m. in Spanish. The priest reciter for today's liturgy is Father Fred Ms., assisted by Deacon Ron. The mass intention today is for the souls of Honoria Castano Tolentino, Luis Morales, and Sam Grace Jr and also for Thanksgiving of Green Yim and Anna and Larson. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, to be celebrating the fifth Sunday of Lent. And once again, let us partner our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and believing brothers and sisters that I have seen in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most beautiful fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary Virgin, all the angels, saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord God of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God, 
May we walk eagerly in the same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to them. For Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the name of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from them and bring you back to the Lord, land of Israel. Then you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have you rise from them. O my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live and I will settle you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised, and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm is, With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If you, O Lord, mark my iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. More than sentinels wait for the dawn. Let Israel wait for the Lord. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. With the Lord there is mercy and a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. But you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit. If only the Spirit of God dwells in you, Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit dwelling in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord, who believes in me will never die. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. The sisters of Lazarus sent word to Jesus, saying, Master, the one you love is ill. 
When Jesus heard this, he said, This illness is not to end in death, but is for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, but Mary sat at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. He became perturbed and deeply troubled and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Sir, come and see. And Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him? But some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would not have died? So Jesus, perturbed again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay across it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench. He has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus raised his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me. But because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, untie him and let him go. Now many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what he had done began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord Jesus My dear sisters and brothers, the world today is such a different world from what it was just a few days ago. In other countries, started many weeks ago and a few months ago. If only we could have stepped back into the world a few days ago, we would realize how much we have taken for granted. In a short span of few days, we have learned so many new things, things that are uncomfortable and embarrassing, things that are strangely reversed. We came to know of new, a new virus, COVID-19, and almost easily we are immersed in the world of medicine and science. 
before we might not even know the difference between a virus and bacteria. Also in a strange and fun way, the lowly toilet paper suddenly became as important as banknotes and checks. Supermarkets are open, but the shelves have strangely become empty. All of some countries, people are beginning to be difficult to recognize because almost every other person is wearing a surgical mask. And we have learned new terms like social distancing, which sounds like a contradiction of terms, which actually means physical distancing and which is also known as safe, safe distancing. We also now know how long one meter is. Indeed, the world today is so much different from the world few days ago. And for all of us, our world will change one day. It is that day when we close our eyes to this world. And that was the case with Lazarus. His illness became mortal, and he eventually closed his eyes to this world as death wrapped up his life in this world. In the darkness of the tomb, all life is absent, and the only thing present is a stench of death and decay. Death has the force to separate the dead from the living, and that the distance is final. We do feel a bit of distancing as we are advised to stay indoors and not to, to go out unnecessarily. This mode of life is certainly a far distance from the what we used to few days ago. We may feel that as our movements are becoming restricted, things are also rather distant from us. But not everything is so distant. Sunrise is not distant. Love is not distant. Family life, family time is not distant. Kindness is not distant. Creativity is not distant. Learning is not distant. Conversation is not distant. Imagining is not distant. Reading is not distant. Relationship is not distant. Praying is not distant. Meditation is not distant. Resting is not distant. Work from home is not distant. Hope is not distant. Cherish what we have. Safe distancing and restrictions are opportunities to do what we always wanted to do. And as Jesus called up to Lazarus with those four words, Lazarus, come out. It is also a call to us. Jesus calls us by name, calls us to look at him and come towards him. Jesus is our life and he is our resurrection. When we keep our eyes on him and walk towards him, we too will be able to walk out of darkness of fear and death and into the light of life. It is having the hope in Jesus who is our light of life, that we have the courage to keep walking in the darkness. And as we walk on, may this be a reflection. When all this has passed, I will never take for granted again a coffee with a friend, exercising in the park, going to social events, going to mass on Sundays or even weekdays, Full shops of food that at the supermarket. I will not take for granted going to a restaurant for a meal, a simple handshake, and to say hello, and to sit comfortably next to each other. I know that when this has passed, the world will be different. I hope and pray that it will be a kinder world, a more thankful world, and a world closer to God. Amen.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things are made, for us men of our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was in very good Virgin Mary in the Canaan. For our sake, he was to find him for just Friday. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, and no more in his scriptures. He ascended to heaven, and has seen the right hand of the Father. He will come and give him glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and Giver of life. Who proceeds from the Father and the Son? Who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified? I was spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism of forgiveness of sins, and I will go to the resurrection and the land of the Lord of God. Amen. With the Lord, there is mercy. In that confidence, we bring our petitions to God. Today's liturgy is celebrated for the eternal repose of the souls of Honoria Castano Florentino, Luis Morales on the first year and death anniversary, Sam Grace Jr., and is also celebrated for Green Yim and Anna M. Larson in Thanksgiving. All for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers that the one holy Catholic and apostolic church continue to proclaim the value of human life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. That the nations of the world, the love and peace of Jesus, who wept for Lazarus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the spread of the COVID-19 virus and other dangerous flu viruses, that an effective vaccine be quickly developed and widely distributed to all in need of it, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who gather around the table reach out with love to those who grieve, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our efforts to build a bigger church be fruitful and in accordance with your will, we pray to the Lord. That our efforts to build a bigger church be firm. for the intentions of the pro-life blessing bouquet and all those who work to defend the lives of the unborn and the sick members of our parish especially those sick in our community and all those who have been affected by the coronavirus will experience healing and relief from pain we pray to the lord that the deceased members of our parish, especially those who have perished during, uh, due to the coronavirus, will know the everlasting light of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. In the silence of our hearts, let us continue to pray for our own intentions and for those people for whom we wish to pray. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And let us also pray for the intentions of all our preachers here at St. Vincent and all those who are watching this live stream. But let us also continue to pray for all the frontliners. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you raise your son from death. Hear our petitions and rise us to new life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Let's thank you for the cooperation for the units that we see in the white we offer you. Through the fiber of your hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Bless be God forever. Brave sisters and brothers, so by sacrificing yours, may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, far greater than the good of all of His holy church. Hear us, Almighty God, and have you still in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith. Gracefully purify them by the working of His sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just our to our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, the Father Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us who have wept for Lazarus' friend, and us eternal God raised him from the tomb, just as they did pity on the human race. He leads us by sacred mysteries to new life. Through him, the host of angels of worship majesty, and rejoice us in your presence forever. We are rewarding us with great joy and thirst, in one verse of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and Gaius. Blessed is he who comes to the Lord, O Son and Gaius. You are indeed holy, or the Father of holiness. Make all your holy gifts be great by sending the others to the Father that we do fall, so that they may become for us the body and of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took that giving thanks for all it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, so of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Simon was bent then to the chalice and was forgiving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in the end of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the very life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How do we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, o Lord, your church by the wall, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Christ, our Pope, John of Us, our Bishop, Albert Rojas, our Pastor, our Bishop, all the bishops and all the clergy. Remember us, our brothers and sisters who fall asleep in the home of the resurrection, and all who have died in mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin and Mother of God, we have blessed John's super spouse, we have blessed the apostles, Saint Vincent Perpetual Saint, and all the saints who are each of one ages. We may marry to be coerced with our life, may praise and glorify you through your Son Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, all glory to the shores forever and ever. Amen. Let us say this command for me by teaching with them say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the hour in your bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and it is not temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
the us flow away from every evil. Grace will not be families, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as I await the blessed hope and the kind of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who is the dear apostles, peace and with my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grace to grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take our sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take our sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take our sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him related to the sins of the world. Let us hold to the sack of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be shamed under thy roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Everyone who lives and who lives in me will not die forever, says the Lord. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ, in whose blood and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. So just want to remind each other of you that uh, Monday to Saturday we have live streaming at 6, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Sunday, 10 o'clock English and 12 o'clock Lord and our Spanish. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, loved ones, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. <laughs>